This is not a toy. This is a tiny powerful computer capable to do many things. Hey what's up everyone, I'm Andrew and in this video we're gonna build something different. Well, this is a kind of weird computer, a tiny computer placed in a tank case. So let's back and see from where I began. Actually, I had to build a small computer, a fast computer, but with a unique design. So everything starts from a tiny single bore computer, the Latte Panda model Alpha 864S. Well, first let's meet this tiny computer. The Latte Panda is coming in a very premium, nice designed package, that on the first look it really impressed me. Inside the box, the first is the Latte Panda computer, and under the computer is accessory, like the USB Type-C power adapter, two power cables, one is with US plug and the other is with EU plug. Five standoffs. There are two antennas for the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth, two stickers, and the user manual with a diagram. Well, and this is the Latte Panda Alpha. And literally, this is a pocket computer. So this is compared with iPhone 11. The iPhone 11 with the case is 155mm x 80mm and the Latte Panda is 115mm x 78mm and it's only 14mm thick. On the top side there are three USB 3.0 ports, USB Type-C for the charger, 3.5mm audio jack, internet cable port and the HDMI port. But also on the front side are Arduino connections. And yes, this thing has a built-in Arduino and it can be used to connect and use and program other hardware. From the other side there is one M2 slot, one M SATA, actually two M2 slots but with a different key. There is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, micro SD card slot, and there are other connections that allow connecting display and other accessory. The specs are the main reason why I brought this computer. The CPU is M3 8100 Y. The GPU is Intel Ultra HD 615. The RAM is 8 gigs. The SSD or the memory is 64 gigs eMMC 5.0 memory. And the Latte Panda comes with licensed Windows 10 Pro. If I compare these specs with some other computer, then this computer is very similar to 2017 12-inch MacBook, including the build quality and how it's designed, about operating system support. The Latte Panda supports Windows, Linux and many other operating systems that are not listed. Well, now let's move on making the computer. The case we're gonna make from a small and cheap tank toy. So first I will start with disassembling and preparing for the other modifications. Actually, why do I choose tank? Well, because this is a small, quality and good computer and because I need some unique design, I've decided to make the case from something different. Actually, I had a lot of other ideas, but I chose the tank because I never saw some computer placed in a tank case and I really want to see how it will be and how it will look. And also, I want to share some new ideas. And basically, this is what we have for the beginning. Now, first I start with planning. Where I'm gonna place the computer, what is the best position, the position for the outputs and inputs, but also I need a good position because of cooling. And the back side, it seems like the best position. Well, first I made one plastic platform, where we're gonna mount the Latte Panda. Now, I used the standoffs to mount the computer on the plastic platform. Else, 
So now I have a better image, where do I need to cut and make modifications? Well, first I cut the mid part and the crawler belt, but I left the wheels. Well, now I move on the top part. On the top part I made a few modifications. First, I made space for the cooling. Then I removed some plastic from the inside because the case won't fit. And from the both sides I made space for the inputs and outputs. Now, I move on the other modifications. I got a plastic mesh or the dust filter which most is used in computers. Then I stick mesh from the inside of the case. This actually will prevent dust from entering to the case. Also, I stick mesh to the both sides under inputs and outputs. Well, and the other modification is the covers for the inputs and outputs. The covers I made it from drinking straws and the plastic mesh. Actually, all the time I need something that will make the case more open with better airflow, but also I need better aesthetics. Now, before I move to the other modifications, I stick the plastic platform on the mid case. Now, when basically all is done here, it's time to move on painting. I got a few sprays for this project, but I had to choose only two of them. So I've decided to go with warm colors. First I used sand or desert like spray and this is going to be the base paint. After I finished with base paint I took the mid brown shade spray. And with this spray I made a honeymoon pattern or hexagon camouflage. Actually this honeymoon pattern or hexagon associates me with touch. So how do I make this pattern? I took an old power supply case and most of this case have this pattern. Also around the power supply case I stick paper tape to avoid accidental paint. So I place the power supply case and I spray very light. Meanwhile, I made an additional change. The power button. Actually, I played the button differently. But during painting the case, I changed my mind. The power button is made from one plastic stick. That will reach the button on the computer. In the plastic stick, I drill a hole and I put a thick metal wire. Also, I reinforced this primitive mechanism with two plastic sticks. And basically, this is how the power button is looking and how it's work. Now, to start the computer, I just need to pull the plastic button from the outside. And one more thing left, the crawler belt. The crawler belt I painted into a black, but for this I used color in a can and thin brushes. I have done this because with a brush I can paint more accurately. Well, after the painting gets dry, over the wheels I stick furniture fill pads. These fill pads will back the tank case into a horizontal position, in normal position. But also, in this case, the fill pads will serve like anti-vibration pads. Well, basically everything is complete and now let's assemble this computer.
And this is the final result. Well, now let's connect this computer and start with testing. I do all basic tests, but especially pay attention to the temperature and noise. The temperatures are pretty fine and normal and there is no any issue even under full load and longer period of use. By itself, this computer is very quiet, but with a case is total silence. Well, because I want anything to be legit, the tests we're gonna run without the case. And first we're gonna start with Windows that is installed on the integrated SSD. The speed of the computer is pretty good and everything is working pretty fine. If I compare this eMMC or onboard SSD with some others, then I can say that the speed is like using 2.5 inch Kingston SSD. When I run the SSD benchmark test, I got these results. 163 megabits per second read and 122 megabits per second write. But this test is with almost full disk. With the empty disk is about 190 megabits per second read and about 140 megabits per second write. The other things on the computer are working pretty fine and surprising fast. The web browsing is pretty fast and better than expected and this computer can play 4K videos without any problem. In the gaming area, because of the Intel HD 615, I cannot expect very much, but is better than my expectations. I played the Tomb Raider from 2013. I choose this game because it's flexible and it allows me to play on a full screen. Also in this game, I set all settings to minimum. The Tomb Raider with all minimum settings is running pretty fine and the frame rate is between 30 and 50, which is pretty good for one tiny computer. However, later we're gonna boost the performance to the maximum. The next test gonna be, on this computer I add Samsung 970 EVO Plus M2 SSD. With the M2 SSD, everything is going much, much better. Boot into the Windows is going faster, navigating through Windows is going better, and even the web browsing, watching 4K videos is much faster. Also, because the Windows 10 license is connected to the Latte Panda and not to the eMMC disk, the Windows on the M2 disk is successfully activated. So this actually is great, because I can change the disk how many times I want. The benchmark test with the Samsung M2 SSD shows much better results. The M2 shows 1383 megabits per second read and 1229 megabits per second write, and the score is over 10 times better. Well, now let's move to the final part, connecting GPU or eGPU on Latte Panda. Actually, this computer is capable for both, let's say eGPU using EXP GDC dock and the other way is using PCI Express to M2 converter. But in this case, I will use the M2 but X4 version of EXP GDC. The X4 or 4 line version is much faster than the other versions and this version has a dual HDMI connection instead of one as the classic version. 
the GPU that we're going to use is NVIDIA GTX 1660. The power supply is 550 watts real power and all of this is packed in my test case. The case is aluminum case Simo A4. Well, now let's start the computer. Well, now after boot, I continue with installing the NVIDIA drivers. After the drivers are installed, I reboot the computer and everything is working fine. Well, now let's check the gaming performance. So again, I started Tomb Raider, but now I set all settings to the maximum. And this is what we got. The frame rate mostly is about or above 60, sometimes go over 70, and the lowest that I got was 51. So basically, this is a huge jump in the performance. Well, and basically this is all about this computer. This computer actually is predicted to be used in this case, and without GPU. Also, in a case like this, you can fit some other mini computer, or Android box. Or you can use some other toy to make the case, and do something original and unique. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope this video will give ideas and inspiration to make something different. Also, if you want to support me to grow this channel, you can press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.